Welcome back to ShiftCast. Today we've got a special bonus episode. We're going to label this episode 20.5. And today what we're doing is we're just going to run through this prediction sheet. Huge, huge shout out to Adam Core who has kind of started this trend and provided this awesome resource for the Rocket League Esports community. He's recently decided to kind of step away from that duty. And now uh, an individual named Cody is rocking these sheets. He also just made one for the 2v2 event. So big shout out to Cody for continuing this. This kind of stuff is so sick. I mean, we, we yeah. obviously are sitting here on ShiftCast. Awesome content for the community. The um, the Next Up project that you guys did, we, we talked about that a lot throughout this season. Man, that was it's just so much fun to have these extra layers of... of it's all free. It's all free. Yeah. These extra layers of storylines and, and just fun things to engage in. You know, Fantasy Rocket League, uh, Pick Stop. There's just a lot of really cool stuff. There's another yeah. one with shout called Half Flip. I don't know if y'all seen that. It's just kind of no, like two choices and you pick between... No, that like, sounds um, fun. Like, like they'll do who's going to win the major, one of the four European teams or the rest of the field. Mm, oh, that's like that cool. kind of thing. Yeah, it's I saw cool, too so. they have like a, a like a daily replay, like guess the rank challenge now. Yep. It's like Rankle. Yep. That's Rankle. very cool. Yep. What a community. Been, it's been around have. for a while, but it's been picked up more recently. And yeah. What a community. But lots of, also, huh? lots of there's cool also stuff. one where you have to uh, figure out which Rocket League Pro is. And then yeah. you have to like guess. RLE guess. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, that one's really good too, but yep. difficult sometimes. Very difficult, yeah. But I mean, like, like what we were saying, just a lot of cool resources in the community, so shout out to these individuals. We'll put Cody's uh, Twitter link in the description below, mm -hmm. so if you want to fill out a sheet, you can also do that. Um, and feel free, as we make this prediction, to uh, express your... Uh, disappointment? Your disappointment or your support yeah. for our, our decisions. And the way we're going to do this is throughout Swiss... We're just going to go one at a time. Michael will predict a series. Jans will predict a series. I'll predict a series. That way we can kind of right. move through Swiss pretty quick. And we get to top eight, we'll get into a little bit deeper discussion. So, yeah. I mean, that's nice and all, but that's pretty pointless. Because we already know who's going to win. It's the okay. Netherlands, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go. <laughs> Wrong tournament. <Don't> pull on <laughs> up. Today's going to be a fun one. I, I imagine the, this first round, we'll probably get through it pretty quickly. Um, so, does anybody yeah. want to kick us off? Or I can. We got the BDS versus Mobula. Uh, this is 3-0. Unfortunately, okay. this uh, this um, match is actually supposed to be happening on day three of an open qualifier. Um, and it would happen <laughs> the exact same way on that open qualifier as it will, for some reason, on LAN. Uh, shout on out LAN. to the rules. Uh, we love the rules. We love the new mm -hmm. rules. But yeah, I mean, this is Europe's you know, 30, 35th best team versus the best team in Europe with the best player maybe of all time, uh, an ascendant superstar and exotic who has been kind of a mainstay in that top... 10, 15, they're all clicking right now. Uh, yeah. This is going to be a whooping. A whooping, he says. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll just, uh, this is what we'll do. We'll just go you two, and then I'll go last. So, Jens, you got the G2 Gladiator series. What are you thinking? You're the one filling this in, right, Hody? Yes, Can you sir. share your screen so we can uh, oh, watch yeah, along? Oh, yeah, um, yeah. I can do that. I mean, I can fill it in in my copy of the predictions, too. Oh, no, but... that's, a, that's a great shout. Let me... The second one is G2 versus Gladiators, right? That's right. I have G2 going 3-0 there. Okay. I mean, it, the Gladiators uh, are, are the ones that are just a little bit above Mobula. Yeah. Uh, even though they have, though. Ooh, so nice. the Netherlands oh. might be winning the Euros, which of course <laughs> is what I was referring to. Um, but they're, they're not winning against the best squads in NA. Um, I think I was just quickly. I think it's gonna be this is the worst matchup you can have as a team that's lesser because once G two get like realizes that they can do whatever they want, as we saw in the last seven mm. qualifier, yeah. they'll just start doing the silliest things imaginable, and it just <laughs> works, and it's just an absolute backbreaker to start it off for them. Yeah, I mean it that's why like, the seating is like this. Yeah, it looks like a when G two gets rolling, it looks like a freaking pulse montage or something. Yeah, it's exactly. Like, so uh, they're they're about to learn. They're about to learn about what happens when Beast Mode starts realizing he can just stay on the other side of the field the whole game. <laughs> Dude, he really does. He just perches yeah, he up does there do that. It's on crazy, the backboard. Yeah. It is insane. Uh, okay, so Vitality Chiefs is the next matchup. Um, I think these top three matches are, are going to be pretty one-sided. I think They're there's, maybe, I mean, maybe, maybe a ten percent chance that Chiefs can grab a game. I think if Vitality are, are sleeping in that first, um, the first game when they step on the field, then maybe. But uh, I'm going to go three zero as well. I think these top three are probably going to be pretty one-sided. Totally. I mean, they're um, meant to be, right? That's Once right. a month, I see someone comment like, "Why are the why are the top teams playing against the worst teams in the first round? <laughs> well, I don't get it. Don't we want some good matchups?" It's almost like you no. grind for months to be able to get favorable matchups. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. Yeah. 
Yeah, for the next matchup, we have the Gentlemates, the defending major champions, against mm-hmm. Twisted Minds, who had a really, really strong season in or second yeah. split in Mina, adding Ahmad. Um, and I'm going to go on the limb here. I'm actually going to say okay. it's going to be 3-2 Gentlemates. I think uh, Twisted Minds, um, they play quite an aggressive style. Um, and as we've seen from the Gentlemates, they like to counterattack quite a bit and try to keep midfield pressure. And I think, you know, maybe they come on a little bit slow. Um, I do still think they're going to win, but I think a lot of people are giving the Gentlemates a lot of grace and, you know, deservingly so, considering they did look a little shaky in the first split and then dominated the major. But I'm not, I'm not that, inve- like, I think they'll still do well. I'm not super invested in the idea that that'll happen again. So I think they're going to get a little test early, which may be good for them, but it mm-hmm. will be bad for their seeding uh, in the next round. Yeah. I think three, two Gentlemates. I mean, no notes. I have the exact same score in my prediction. We got the, the Twisted Minds yesterday. I saw, um, I got to broadcast one of their 2v2 matches against BDS. Obviously, different, but SMW was popping. Yeah, he's, he's a beast, man. Very comfortable, very confident. Very underrated player. They're just good players. Yeah. 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 They might not be the best team, but they're very good players. Yeah. yeah. They have they have the the chops to stay with these teams, any mm-hmm. team. In, in this definitely, tournament. definitely no pushover. They got to be on yeah. their A game. Totally. All right. Fury OG, Yens, what you thinking? I am thinking 3 1 for Furia. Okay. Yeah, nice. I am still not an OG believer, and I do believe that even though Furia doesn't come in as as big of a favorite from their own region as they would have liked to, um, they should come in with enough confidence to make light work of OG. Yeah. And I feel the same. I feel the oh, same. I know that OG has so had bad, a hoodie. They've of had course. an OG has had this like constant, <laughs> steady. Trage- upwards trajectory it feels like they're just continuing to kind of prove themselves and and obviously with, i don't think that they are contenders to win the event but i'm similar to yens where it's like i, I just still i just still can't buy it's a, in. it's a bad matchup for them like og yeah. truly has always That's struggled thing, yeah. similar yeah. to luminosity i think when we saw them in the major i mean they had a really st- rough start but it's just they really struggle with teams that just have a very high peak mechanically uh, because, yeah. you know, you can game plan all you want, but when they yeah. can do stuff that you can't at a speed, you can't, it's just hard. And right. I think it, you'll see similar stuff there. Well, on that note, I think you summed up the next matchup pretty good. I like uh, oxygen over power here. Look, power has been dominant in their home region. I'm going to give it a three, one. I do think they'll uh, yeah. sneak a game. I see game but- one for power. Yeah, yeah, that could happen. But I do think that Oxygen has the edge mechanically. I think they'll be a, a superior team um, in that regard, both like with peak but also consistency. I think we've seen Power do very well at home, but then when we saw them at the major, there were times where they were just making some silly mistakes. They caught, uh, you know, caught wrong-footed, if you will. Yeah. Um, so I think Oxygen's going to be able to take advantage of, of that. Of course you do. <laughs> of course you do. I no, mean, but they, I think to so, too. Fair, they should. I mean... Yeah. I think so, too. I mean, I had... 3-2, but that was yeah. already kind of an upset, sure, if you yeah. will. Mm-hmm. Like, Oxygen should have this. Yeah. All right, two more it's matches, the and these are the two most exciting matches in round one. We've got That's Falcons right. versus Space Station, Genji versus Secret. Michael, you're up first. What you thinking here with uh, Mina's number one versus Space Station? Well, you know how I feel about the Falcons. I said mm-hmm. that the team to beat. I think that they're a serious contender to make the final. Bring it up 3-2 for SSG. Unfortunately... Oh. As as I've said, and I think the Falcons will shake back, but as I've said, there's something about LJ against these Mina teams, man. They they just can't figure it out because he just plays an absolute wall breaker style. He's just gonna fire the ball to that as many times as he can. I think um <laughs> I think that there's just a I, I'm I'm betting on a little mental for for the twins who who had their world's hopes dashed by LJ last year. Um and I think that individually um, Chicago and Hawks are playing very, very well. So I don't I've got... like it. In round one, like Michael, it. you didn't even yeah. wait till round two no, or three. because this is when it will I mean, happen. Come on. This is when it will happen. If, a te- if, a, if one of these top contending teams is going to lose, it's going to be in the opening round because they're not settled. And uh, yeah, I think that they're going to see a huge upset for SSG in this first round. I don't know if I they're going to... I mean, gonna, I don't like you know. it, but I don't hate it either. I can't hate on it because I have it going to game five as well. I still think Falcon should have the edge there, but it's a close matchup. What can you say? All right, Genji Secret. Space Station's way. Uh, that's a 3-1 for Genji for me. Okay. Genji might not be the strongest team from NA, but they're still, <laughs> uh, you know, they're not, clearly. 
No, I've, However, I've... round one in Swiss. I mean, Gen G, still a solid contender, and for Secrets. Sure. This is, I think, for for Secret, this is a rough matchup for them. Yeah, they've like, also got that added like layer of pressure about... where they're fighting for the world's life too. Yeah, mm. yeah. There's a lot on their shoulders, and just like we talked about for OG, it's just not a favor matchup for them sure. here against uh, Gen G. It's 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 tough. So yeah. I think that's a three one. All right, Mobula, tough draw there in the lower round, getting Falcons. <laughs> I mean, oh no, whoever whoever got Falcons down there was going to the have four, a tough time. It but... looks like the format has done Mobula bad. That's awful. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, um, I'll take this. We'll just go. We'll just continue to go from the top to the bottom. I'll go yeah. uh, the space station uh, BDS match. Man, BDS is just firing on all cylinders. Yeah. Threes, the last two tournaments they've won. Twos, they just won this recent tournament. And 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 this is no slight to the to either other either of the other players, but Monkey Moon wasn't even playing. You know, yeah. I saw this in Twitch chat the whole time. Why is Monkey Moon not playing? You know, he he's the best player on the team, whatever. And they still dominated the tournament. They played so well. I mean, BDS. I don't know how I could. I don't know how I could doubt them. In fact, I'm gonna go three zero here. I think Space Station. Um, they're probably just gonna get suffocated here if this yeah. matchup does happen. BDS is just clinical. They're all firing. I, I... So. I feel like something that's under discussed about BDS and like just because it's not a huge topic is like how for a team that's never been like a crew battles team, how insane yeah. they're going to be in a crew battles format when you can oh, roll yeah, out any are. of those three and twos and then you have Monkey Moon and Drawly for once. Like that is that is crazy. It just started to realize <laughs> me now. I'm like, wow, it's yeah. an embarrassment <laughs> of talent on that team. Yeah. Um, OK, next one. G2 Gentlemates. We get a rematch yeah. of the major final in round Ooh. two of Swiss. That's awesome. Um, I think I'm going to give this one 3-2 to Gentlemates. I think, um, you know, I love my boys on G2, but I think uh, I think the, the mates just seem to have a, a, a plan that I think this, it's a styles type thing. And I think for G2, yeah. who really like to sit back and like wait for the other team to kind of drain their own boost and then, you know, kind of assault them on the other end. Uh, once they know that they have it, I think Gentlemates are a bad, bad matchup because Gentlemates is fine with living in the midfield for an entire game. Um, I think this is going to be one of those series where there's a lot of where it's like the two games that G2 win, they win like 4 1 or 5 1. And then the two, the three games that, that Gentlemates when they win like 1 nothing, 2 1 in OT type yeah. thing. But um, yeah, I'm going to take I'm going to take the mates. I think, uh, you know, I said I'm not a huge believer in them going back to back, but I still think that they're going to be really formidable on land. Okay, let's flip the order here because well, I can't do two oxygen back to back. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna fry me. Let me go. Let me go. This series, Vitality Genji. <laughs> sure. Um, I I think I gotta go Vitality here. Genji. And listen, they're obviously capable of beating any team in this tournament. But what they have shown me in the last two events, silly it's just team, leaving me. Yeah, it's it's leaving me with no reason to put them over Vitality here. So I gotta go Vitality. I'm gonna go three one. Obviously, Genji is still a formidable opponent. And they can get this series, but there's no reason for me to predict them over Vitality. So we'll, we'll stick with uh, rough round stick for with the NA. Bees. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> rough round for NA. Yeah, I, for me, this is a this is a coin toss. Mm. This is this is for me something that probably comes down to play styles, and I don't know how that's gonna turn out. Yeah, I'd actually give it to Gen G. I feel mm. like in a okay. best of five, where it's just three games and you're done. Genji yeah. might might be a little bit stronger, but yeah, like in in a, in a best of seven, I would give it to Vitality for sure. I I think they have more, you know, consistency in 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 sure. what they do on the field. Yeah. Um, but let me take oxygen for you. Yeah, then. yeah, get that out of my hands. And and let me let me just bump them down to one and one. Because it's Fury oh going to Oh my goodness, what a absolute rug pull by Yens right there. <laughs> that was fantastic. It, Fury are still such, like, they have the players to make it happen, to mm -hmm. go to round three, two and oh. Uh, and I think they will. I think they're just one of those teams, even though I had different round two matchups, yeah. I still had them going to round three, two and oh. Like, they're just a team that should be there, in my opinion. And against Oxygen, who, let's say, not the strongest from Europe. Yeah. One of the strongest teams in the world, for sure, but not the strongest team from Europe. Right. They should be a team that 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 Furia can take care of. Yeah. And what's so the, let's what's make it. Line? Let's make it three and 
three and one. Okay, three one. The question for you guys is when when Joyo loads into that lobby and sees that demon on the other side, that 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 made him on the losing side of one of the most iconic moments. Can he step up? Can he get his revenge? Right. <laughs> Um, it's gonna be tough i think it's gonna be tough for him yeah uh I'll, we can just go to the next one 3-0 like i don't we don't need to Move discuss on. this one this is pretty clear are you sure yeah yeah i'm pretty sure Hootie. i'm pretty sure this is gonna be a sweep okay all right if you say so <laughs> um all right we can go back to order yens if you want to go here sure i mean that's twisted minds all the way um we're dealing with yeah 3-0 okay Regardless of of the the Dutch prowess, they're they're only gonna they're only gonna do it in uh, in football, and even that I'm not too sure about. But here they should be losing to Twisted Minds. Yeah, um, I gotta go secret over Chiefs. I I think this is actually gonna be a decent series. I think it'll be semi competitive. I'm gonna go three um, one. Yeah. I I haven't seen a ton of Chiefs. But from uh, this new roster, but f but from you know their performance, I think they'll, they'll they'll be decent here in this event. And I think Secret is kind of the it's kind of the question mark where you know historically Sam Two Seed has always been pretty good. Um, this team, this is their first international appearance. They've been very consistent. You know, maybe not winning events in Sam, but very consistent throughout the season. And I think that is what's going to pull them across the line here with his Chiefs team. They should beat them as long as they perform consistently, which they have shown they will. They'll take care of business here. So I go, I go three, one over uh, secret over chiefs power. OG. That's an exciting one, Michael. What do you think? That is, you know, it's tough for me, right? Cause it's my dog on that team. <laughs> it is. Yeah. But it's, it's, it, I'm going to say it. <laughs> Give me three, one power. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I, I just, I think the confidence the power has, and they've always, the OC, the best OCE teams have always played with an almost like, like you see them, they're joking around, they're laughing, they're having a good time. Like they, they, they treat these tournaments the, what, as the way the team should, as a, as a privilege to play at the highest level. Um, I think OG, very, very good team. But I think this, like, we talked about this very early on in Shiftcast, is like, could power make the major from NA as NA4? Yeah. Um, and we all kind of were like, they'd be in that conversation. I think this is That's a right. very, very, very close matchup. Mm -hmm. But I think Power has the lack of, like, pressure on them to perform. Sure. Like, everyone thinks that they're just going to be like, oh, go O2, beat uh, another, beat a team in the, the O2 round and lose 1-3. I yeah. think, and they, they play so offensively, too, where they give up a lot of dumb goals. But it's because, like, that's just the play style. Yeah. Um, and I think that's going to be a little bit of trouble for OG, who is historically kind of beat up on teams who try to implement a play style that's more controlling. Like you saw how they were able to beat LG a lot, but they struggled against teams like Shopify. Um, which actually I think is a great comp for power. I think Shopify is a fantastic comp for power in terms of the sort of glass can style they play. So yeah, I'm yeah. going to take power, send OG down to the O2 round, which sorry, but you know, Naps, Naps is going to work his way back. So we're fine. Um, he, yeah. he's got a, he's got a favorable matchup in round three. Yeah, so exactly. It must have been tough for you, Michael. I know, but I, listen, down, he right? didn't like that. Well, you know what they call me, right? Mister Fairness. Like that's what they tell. That's what they call me. So um, all the time. All, all right, Yens. Yeah. Who's qualifying through the upper side? BDS Gentlemates. Oh my God, that's tough. That is tough. That is a tough one. Uh, I, I would give it to Gentlemates. Hey. Um, they also beat BDS three and one in Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. And they haven't matched up ever since, actually. Yeah. This would be the first time they're playing against each other again. Uh, and I still think it would be a 3-1. 3-1, okay. It's a team diff. Uh, it's a gentlemates who've been good at a Copenhagen Major. I, I see them do it, doing good at London Major again. All right, so I've got Vitality versus Furia. Again, qualifying match uh, to the top eight. I mean, why don't we just, we'll just keep the same 3-0 teams from last time? Yeah. We'll just go with a 3-2 a victory for Furia over Vitality. We'll have Gentlemates so? and Furia 3-0 um, through Swiss in you both don't think majors. There's gonna be in, do you, you don't think that Furia's been quote-unquote figured out by Vitality after that last... Figured out? No, maybe figured out's wrong, but it seemed like in the quarterfinal match, Vitaly came out with a very defined plan against them, mm -hmm. and it worked yeah. perfectly. 
I feel like so. um, I feel like the quarterfinal. Yeah, maybe it, maybe it was game planning, but I feel like Fury was just lackluster. I feel like they were. They are kind of a best of five yeah. team, huh? Where like they can just they can yeah. do enough to win three games, like right. just before you know what's going on. You don't have your time out well, and stuff. It's part of what Yans was saying earlier too, with like a, a lengthier series. Some of these teams, like Vitality or BDS or Gentle Mates, they can kind of grind things out, make them yeah. uh, make the proper adaptations and adjustments needed. Whereas Fury maybe. You know, they may be a little bit more one dimensional in their in their style, but um, if that style, like if they're all executing and if they're you know on their yeah. A game mechanically, they're 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 as dangerous as anyone. So uh, and yeah, obviously this Vitality, can go either way. That's why I've got it in five. Uh, Vitality but, in particular, I think, are a team that benefit from the longer series from totally. the best of sevens rather than the best of fives. You, you saw it in their in their semifinal matchup against G two. If that's a three a best of five, that series is over three one. But they were able right. to. Work it back to a game yeah. seven OT, and you know they, they didn't work out for them, but they were as close as they could, could be. I yeah. mean, the crazy yeah. thing for me here is that we don't have Team Falcons in this in this upper round three. My fault. They're, My fault, one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I wasn't gonna say it, but it's it's insane to me that they're not there because they could go three and zero, in my opinion. Um, okay. no, it's definitely Next there, up, but I'm, you know, LJ G two power. So. To me, the G2 is going to go on a classic NA major run where they have like yeah. a really weak, like a really kind of disappointing early loss. And then okay. they dominate after that. Like they kind of shake back and go, okay, we got to lock in. So to me, this is going to be a sweep. I think like coming off, uh, you know, round two is the uh, up round two is the last series of the first day. Uh, the 3 0 or the round three matches the first and yeah. the next one. I think they're going to lock in. They're going to have a lot of time to prepare for this team. And then they're, and they're just going to come out and dominate them. I think it's almost Real? the opposite. Yeah, 3-0. I think it's the opposite of the... Um, it's the opposite of what I was talking about with OG, where I think the sort of glass cannon, like all offense style of power is going to be horrible against G2 because G2 yeah. will just sit yeah. in that and may use their mechanics to make saves mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden all three power players have 12 boost and Daniel's in the air and, yeah. you know, GG's. So We know how that ends. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think this is going to be, it's a stylistic talent matchup but in, style, in terms of style, in terms of talent. I think in terms of the mentality that G2 would have going into a 1-1 match, I think this is just a nightmare for power. Yeah. Yens, auction secret. Right, well, we had Gen G and secret in round one, and you could see that Gen G is just a better team. So mm -hmm. it's no shame um, that, uh, that they're could lose against a team like Gen G, but I think Secret is a team that Oxygen might ab would, would absolutely beat. So, yeah. uh, oh, I, like I, I was saying, no shame against losing against Gen G or Furia or something like that. Right. I think that's the same kind of level of players, of team that we, you come against, up against. But Secret, I would rate a little bit lower than that. So for me, Oxygen Secret is a 3-1. 3-1. I like nice. that. Ooh. This is a demon matchup. A one in one around. match oh. featuring Gen G and Falcons. My that is crazy. word. Could easily be a, a 2 0 match for sure. Oh, I don't like this. I mean, there's um, there's basically a 0% chance that we'll actually see this bracket play out. But you, sure. you can just see from this one example how crazy yeah. the, <laughs> the Swiss stage can get yeah. at a yeah. major like that. It just it like it all it takes is just one, right? Yeah. You see one, and this is not like this is not a crazy upset, you know. This is not yeah. something that's impossible. No. This maybe it's unlikely, but a game five winner for a space station would just throw <laughs> throw the rest of it into a tizzy. Yep. Okay. Totally. Um, I I think y'all know I, I've said it in the first major. I, I've continued to echo it here. I'm a huge Falcons fan. You know, par partially there's some hope as you know fandom. But I do think this is the strongest Mina team that we've ever seen. Um, not only like relative to their past selves, but I also think relative to their peers in the pack. I think this team has um, just as good of a chance as any of those top seven, top eight teams to win an event. Um, they showed that in the last international major. And they've continued to uh, maintain that level, whereas Gen.G has just been a little bit up and down in the second half of the season. So I'm going to go with Falcons here. I am going to make it a game five, uh, a game five victory though, because I think this is typically the way I do these. If I'm not super certain about it, I'll just put mm -hmm. it in game five. So yeah, totally. We'll, we'll throw a, a three two victory for Falcons here. Um, for this next one, uh, you know, memes aside with like LJ and like Cook and Mina, uh, Mina just sit, just like historically has had a hard time with NA. 
Um, yeah. I'm not really sure why, considering they play a very European style. But if you look at, I think last season, Mina teams were two and five against NA. Um, so um, it's just, I don't know what it is. The style just dictates it. Um, I think here we're looking at a 3 1. I think Space Station, um, they've, you know, as a team, as an organization, has always done quite well against Mina teams. Um, and I think if they can beat Falcons, they're definitely going to be like able to c- comfortably get a win against Twisted Minds. They should, right? Yeah. They should. Yeah. You never know, though. Yeah. OG no, Modula. that's that's it's a more of a toss up than I think people will see it going into, just yeah, because one's a minor region team. But mm-hmm. um, I think the way SSG, yeah, sorry, expansion region is probably the better term. Or, 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 or were you talking about NA? Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> Um, don't make me br- don't, right. make, don't make me bring up the shift stats from Rule One versus Space Station like I always do. One point nine eight zero rating against or we're lost in that. Um, All right, hoodie Chiefs against Gladiators. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you get my uh, I'm picking it up here. Okay. All right. Here's what this I'm gonna do. This should be fun. This should be a fun I, match. I am Slowly. a fan of storylines, and if I remember right, Chiefs. Need to make it to round five? Yeah. So we can't end their run in round three. We got to at least get it to the, you know what I'm saying? We got to get it to round four and see what yeah, they get, see dying, what they draw. Man. You're, you're taking so, this countryman up back and, and put him down now. Come on. No, it's okay. It's okay. I had the same outcome I as have, well. I, Chiefs think gladiators. Beating. I think Gladiators, I think gladiators absolutely three, could win that. Okay. And maybe even, hmm. I mean, maybe even they the could. favorites? Yeah, they I could, could but the I do think... I, I think, do think that is underrating Chiefs, so. I, sure. well, I, to me, I look at Gladiators, They would uh, to me, they would have been the OC second seed if they played in OC. That, I mean, like, it's a fair take. It's a fair take. It, it would have been a battle. It's similar to what yeah, we said about Power and A, right? Like, like yeah. they would have been fighting for it along with yeah, totally. Chiefs and, and Ground Zero and Pioneers. And maybe they wouldn't have been the second seed. But like I said, yeah. I'm, uh, I want the story, so. We gotta yeah, put it I, get it. Go get it. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's, it's All right. inconsequential at the end. Michael. Round four, upper side, BDS versus Oxygen. What are we thinking? Um, I think BDS is kind of... BDS has beaten Oxygen already, correct? This yes. split? Yeah. So I think that that's probably going to continue. I think it would be honestly disingenuous of us to put BDS in round five, <laughs> considering their current form and, and what we yeah. know about them. But also, as we've said, it seems like with BDS and Monkey Moon teams, the online portion doesn't necessarily always translate sure. to the major they'll have great splits online and then suck at the major they'll have mid splits and then do great but i'm going to take bds mm-hmm. three two here i think it's going to be a banger series but it's just mm-hmm. going to end up with a few things going bds yeah, last time these two played was in the open qualifier five and it was a four one for bds yeah. yeah so yeah and even the one game that oxygen got was just a one goal game so it it, it really that, was just BDS all over the dominant. If you look at Dude. the other from if you look at the other series that BDS played, that day was Vitality mm-hmm. and they destroyed them as well. BDS has just been the the, the second and third events. BDS were no. Uh, Dude, look at oh, Falcon's no. run in this Swiss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I said, you, you did get it, crazy Swiss. This would be great. Swiss I would love matchups. this. I would be. This would be a fantastic for entertainment. All Going right, through yeah, the NA so gauntlet. Vitality oh, space wait, it's my. Vitality Space Station, this is going to be the downfall of Space Station. And we see Vitality actually qualifying in round four. Um, I I think I actually had them going round five because just like you see with Falcons right now, you can have incredibly difficult matchups all of a sudden. Um, That can happen to Vitality, but I don't think Space Station is such a difficult matchup for them. So I've been going three and one. Yeah. Well, because, like, kind of Vitality, PlayStation is kind of like the discount NA Vitality if you look at the way their team's composed. <laughs> I like <laughs> it's that. It's tough for them, right? In a weird no. way, that's a compliment. But No, it is. They're a great team. But it's like, you know, you, you, you're kind of built around this one player and you have two players yeah. who are very good on their own right, but, like, kind of are trying to enable, in a way, yeah. that player while also doing on their own. And Zen is better than LJ and Radosin's better than Chicago and Alpha's better than Hoxer. So it's kind of hard to argue with that yeah. Yeah. all right i get another extremely man, difficult we would be match i eating, mean we would be eating it as viewers if this was the falcons yeah. run man we would be having yeah. a meal 
What's it going to be? I mean, I have absolutely <laughs> no idea where to go with this. Either this of these could be teams in round five just Actually, feels this, wrong. this would be a grand finals. Well, I mean, yeah. G2, G2 was in round five last time, right? And they made the major final. It doesn't really matter. You just got to make it, you know? You just got to make it in anyone's game. That's true. But you're going to sweat a whole lot more if you make yeah, it to round five. Totally. <laughs> and look at the bottom side. Like, if somebody gets Gen G, that's, oh, yeah. that's yeah. tough. There's going to be a tough round five I mean, even Secret can, can just destroy you in round five. Yeah. Uh, Man, I feel like this is just such a coin toss. It really just depends on who's playing better that day. I think both of these teams are elite. You know, if you were to ask me who are my favorites for the tournament, I think I would say BDS, G2, and Falcons. Those are my three teams that I would totally. you know, have the most faith in, in going to Sunday and, and winning the event. Um, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Falcons again. We'll put it in game right. five once again. Another uh, hard fought victory, and I have no logic for it. So <laughs> yeah, good go. luck trying to get back in the country, Hootie. <laughs> I'm call. I'm calling in. I'm call. I'm calling it in. <laughs> Let's continue to knock in eight teams out. All right. Yeah. Uh, Michael, Twisted Minds versus Chiefs. Uh, Can so the, story the Chiefs book, do it? No, storybook ends here. <laughs> Three, one. I think it'll it. be like. I think it'll be quite fun. Like I think sure. you're gonna see a level of sort of desperation from the Chiefs that'll probably. Yeah. I like. They, I think that what is it? The Spaceman sweep where they take the first game and they lose. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think there's yeah. like this is a textbook Spaceman sweep series where they come out they're like we got one chance to make worlds come on guys yeah, come in they went like 2-1 in overtime they're let's go come on lads come on mates i don't know whatever australian people say and then that they sounded just get, more british they just get dog walked <laughs> uh yeah they get taken to the cleaners for the rest of the series so yeah, yeah. And there's only one team from oceania who can actually pull up in insane upsets uh, yeah, i think power. and that's power and yeah. it's it's not peace so yeah, yeah. all right Yins, Gen G versus OG. Mind you, the most recent matchup that these two teams oh. had went the way of OG in six. Oh, why did you have to remind me of that? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's that's not happening again. They've they've had their they've had their luck and their chances and everything that they got online, but it's over. It's, it's over. over. Okay. Gen G, go on to round five. This is the end of OG's run. Scoreline. Three and oh. The Jeez. sweep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gen G got one game and, and they're just running with it. Yeah. Okay. It feels like one got... of those it feels like an FK diff series loading in, sure. the, in these moments. Sure. Yeah. Well he better show up. Yeah. Because he he's better. got some OG's can we talk him. about quickly what's with him in like these 2v2 tournaments he can't do anything in 2v2 tournaments for someone who's <laughs> so good at twos I feel like every time I see him in a 2v2 tournament he's out like round one or two. What's going on over there? Mm. And Makes that no was against Resolve, to too. No, no shade to Resolve, but that's yeah. definitely not a team. Well, they were also up. They were, they were about to reverse sweep. They're up 2 0 in game five and just blew it. Yeah. I don't, I don't they know. They lost it in overtime. Yeah. All of that's crazy, though. Like, why are you down 2 0? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So remember the solo queue? He didn't even make solo queue. Like, right. no disrespect to Parth, good player, but like, you're not, I, you would not tell me that Parth's making a twos land over first right. killer. I guess it, it could be a mentality thing where twos sure. is such a. It's a game mode for the pros to play when they want to chill. You know, they want to yeah, yeah. they want to grind, but they want to chill. Yeah, it's true. and if you do that in a competitive format, maybe it's not for a first killer. Yeah, whatever. He's still a demon. All right, yep. secret versus power. I feel like this is another tough one. Yeah, this could but go only be, only because power can really show up in in these moments where it's do or die. But mm -hmm. yeah, surely they they're not the favorites in this matchup. No. Well, it feels like it feels like a, a, a like a, a fight of two opposites. Where power, you know, like Michael said, the glass cannon, throw it all. They'll they'll, they'll chunk everything mm -hmm. at you. And secret are are a little bit more willing to, you know, absorb some pressure, uh, play some defense. And so I guess I, it just depends, like who who you know who executes what they do better. Yeah, and, and that should be secret in my opinion. They're just faster. They're Right. They can yeah. be to every ball a little bit quicker than power, and if you keep doing that the entire game, it's just over. Yeah, totally. It's Jover for OCE. They hit the road in round four. We'll, t we'll Unlucky matchup, honestly. Yeah, yeah, we'll put it 3-1.
Okay. I mean, they could easily match up against no. Chiefs in round four and make it to round five. That <laughs> Not my NA, NA match has been created round five. He saw the round five. Oh, no. no. <laughs> All right. Let's chalk it quickly. Hey, hey, Three. Hey, there's a bright side to it. Yeah, we get two NA teams in there, which is probably what's going to be. guaranteed at least yeah. one. Right? There's a bright side to it. Yeah. No, okay. I mean, it, that's we weren't going to get more than two anyway. It's not a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> like, um, uh, give me three. G2 three, secret. Michael. Three, uh, this to me is, once again, a very matchup dependent thing. And yeah. Secret like to play the way G2 like to play. But the mm -hmm. problem is that, no disrespect to Brad, Mata, and KB1, but they are not Daniel Beast Mode and Atomic. Right. Um, give me 3 1 G2. I think it'll be a close series, but I think G2 just, they're willing to. They, they have the confidence in themselves to do things that I just think that uh, Secret doesn't. And in a matchup of two defensively minded teams, that silly pre-jump or that like dunk, uh, you know, can be the difference in a few games. And I think that'll be it. Yeah. I think it'll be like a lot of one goal mm -hmm. games, but still 3-1, G2. NA, we made it, guys. We did in it. the bracket. We did it. Yeah. Yes. I mean, it's already kind of crazy that G2 would be in round yeah, five, but, it is. but as you can see, they can easily match up against Gentlemates and Falcons, and yeah. that's those are teams that G2 could lose against. Yeah. That one that one oh round is so important, because um, you're going to be playing another contender almost no matter what. Yeah. Well, and, what's you know. most important in round one is is sweeping your opponent. Yeah. If you're playing right. against an opponent, if you have a matchup that you should be winning in round one, which is very likely for those top teams, then you just need to sweep them. If you give yeah. away a game, you're gonna have such a hard Screw, time in yeah. round in round but two. But even and... look at G two here. Like they got screwed because Twisted Minds pushed Gentlemates to five, right? right. Like, yeah. Yeah. and you got to play the major yeah, champs. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it's out of your control, but yeah. you just have to at least try to minimize your chances of yeah. getting rough matchups that way. Yeah. Um, but for Oxygen, this is actually not the worst matchup. They could easily have gotten a Gen G, and mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, I, I wouldn't give them that. But uh, let's keep the run going. They go on a run. This is Oxygen in the top eight in three, two. World's three, two, chances alive. Lines. I'm not gonna lie, Jens. I thought you were about to. I thought you were about to do me dirty there. Yeah, yeah, I, I knew you. I knew you thought that. I mean, Twisted Minds. They're they're no slouch, but. Yeah. Oxygen should be able to beat them, I believe. Uh, we're just going off of like power rankings, basically, right? Because yeah. this is round five. Everyone's so tired. Yeah. Uh, I was I was watching the players play in Copenhagen in in the Swiss stage, and it was um, it was actually apparently Jack, who just came into the interview area with Leaf, and he just had his head in his hands like. Couldn't couldn't it's stay stress, focused man. anymore. It's it's so tiring, yeah. so tiring. Yeah. So anything can happen, but oxygen. I find also the better the team, eight, the better teams usually win around five because they're the teams that trust each other the most. And when you're gas, have the most have the composure. Yeah. Right. can play the best when they're tired, when they're yeah. under pressure, for sure. Okay, but all right. Who Let's see if it's oxygen. G, our final Swiss uh, Swiss stage matchup. We 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 gotta go with Genji. They gotta bring it back. I know well, that it has uh, for been... this one specifically. This is a matchup that they have won. Uh, I think four hundred and sixty-two times this year. You know, yeah. like they have won. They every time <laughs> the they play. Is, it. Okay, and I definitely understand why and how that inspires confidence. But at the same time, that's spooky because, like, eventually, yeah, you're not gonna win. Well, you if you lose mean? the game one and you're like, okay, we're playing SSG, like we always beat SSG, then you drop that first game, sure. you're like, uh oh. Like, wait, are we actually, is are, this it? Do we always beat them? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. But, but I, I mean, look, this is, it's the major. It's the big stage. Yeah. I want to see the best teams there. These are predictions. So, you know, take it with a grain yeah, of salt. I mean, but we've got our, we've got, Gen our, beats, we've got our top eight. These should be those teams that make it through. Yeah, totally. Right. Well, Gen, Gen G beats Space Station every time in every qualifier in the first split. Yeah. 4-1, um, 4-2, four, one, four, two, four, one. But yeah, it's just at a major in on LAN. Right. It can it can just be a game, uh, yeah. one game difference can easily go game five, go yeah. overtime. Anything is is on the table. Mm -hmm. So here's our Swiss results: uh, Fury and Gentlemates going through three and zero. Oh. Vitality. Oh my ES, god, we Falcons screwed up so bad. Three and one. Oh we got goodness G2, gracious. Genji and Oxygen going through <laughs> three and two. Swiss and Mind, oh, Secret, fuck. Space Station. They're eliminated in round five. OG Boys, Power Chiefs eliminated round four. 
and <clears throat> Gladiators Mobula, <clears throat> excuse me, unfortunately, 0-3. It, it, it's so what happens when a, you take it game by game. It's crazy what things have we done? What have we done? What have we done? <laughs> Jesus We've Christ. made a fantastic bracket. What do you mean? Look at that 4-5 <laughs> matchup, man. <laughs> this is great. So we've got top side is Fury versus Oxygen. You've got BDS versus Falcons. Mm -hmm. Gentle Mates versus Gen G. And then Vitality the versus G2. Little rematch there um, from the bracket in first major. Now, um, we're going to discuss these a little bit. We're not going to just take it one person uh, gets a series. So We're going to try to come um, to a conclusion, even though it probably let, won't happen. Yeah, let's start at the top here. Furia versus oh. Oxygen. It's a, it's a longer series. We've got um, that matchup happening in... What is it, round? Yeah, round two. Yeah. Yens felt that Furia would uh, take a dub 3 1 there. How are we like voting a, I on this? I think it's going to be a super fun match to watch. I think these are both teams that are um, very willing to push the pace, very willing to be aggressive, take chances. And they, there's obviously plenty of mechanical talent, um, like fun mechanical talent. You know, Yan yeah. pulls out some crazy stuff, Joyo pulls out some crazy Lost. stuff. Lost. Uh, yeah, Lost as well. And of course, Oski. So. I'm excited are we to watch. On this? It's actually, are it's we... actually like the teams are actually eerily similar in their build. You know, yeah. Rafinho and Archie, I think are comparable. Yeah. Um, so it's gonna be a fun one, no matter what. What are you guys thinking here in in the longer series? So are we, are we I, just going to call should... out our winners and then discuss it a little bit more, like give our reasoning for why, yeah. and then maybe try to d persuade sure. the others? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So this is a little bit of a scary one for oxygen right they're the one with all the pressure here furia right. locked for worlds mm -hmm. and let's be honest this was the matchup right for joy yeah. this was the matchup that kind of set off a chain of events where he went from a player on a team that many people thought could start a dynasty into having to do a two-year rebuild of his own career right um so i think that there's going to be some demons here but i don't think that's going to be a deciding factor um i think I am not a believer in Furia, this major. I told you, I think they have silly team tendencies. Um, I think for this one specifically, I think it's a great matchup for Oxygen because they do get to go a little bit longer. They do hold their time out. Um, I think that for the way they want to play, um, they have... Uh, I think Archie specifically is kind of the key piece here because he is their back line, their Seiko, you know, kind of tasked with holding it down while his two teammates, you know, try to make plays on the other end. And he's going to have his work cut over him with Yen and Lost, right? Um, but I do think he can handle it. So I, my pick for this one would be Oxygen. I would say either 4-2 or 4-3. I think it's one where the timeout does matter. I think that it's a long one. And yeah. <laughs> Yids. Yids is just, he does not like that. I mean, I already know what you're going <laughs> to pick, Hoodie. So are we really going to have... Furia go out at the hands of Oxygen. That is crazy. That well, what what has Furia Michael, showed you? My, my question is, what has Furia showed you this split that a team like Gen G hasn't? Because if you don't have the belief in a team like Gen G, why would you have a team belief in a team like Furia to go top four, top two? Also, last major. Yeah. I just don't think Oxygen can make it against a team of with, with the players of the caliber of, of Furia. But the team, just that, they just lost just to Erased. It. Like they Oxygen just, have also yeah. beat also Oxygen have also beat Carmi Corp and Gentlemates this split. This is and, a major. This is not FPL. So yeah, yeah but, and at the major, but, Fury, yeah, mega Fury choke was, in bracket. Was trash. Like they listen, take out the one run they had or the couple <laughs> runs they had two years ago. Furia has straight up not been a good major, like a good land team. They went top sixteen. They went out 0 two at the London major. Or sorry, at the Boston major. And they were really, really good in the Swiss stage, and they crashed out in the top eight. They've done this. The Yan lost era has not shown us that they can get it done in big moments on land. That's the that's the fact. Like, they can show us, but they have not yet. Yeah, well, my vote's still going to Furia, <laughs> but I, I already know I lost, so... <laughs> Absolutely. What am I even doing it for? Get out of here. We're going but with that, Oxygen. That at least secures... Fury, a game or two. What, yeah, four, I think four two, two four, or four three. three. Yeah, four, I think it's two. gonna be a, a it's gonna be a grind. Sure, four two. I I don't agree with it, but it is what it is. <laughs> I think one last thing. Yeah, yeah, it is enough. not an auction believer. I really want auction to do well so we can come back and I'll be so smug. I think yeah, one yeah, thing. I mean, I'm setting you up for it, so you're I welcome. I think um, 
You know, we talked about in the last episode, the silly team allegations against Furia. Yeah. And once you get to these rounds where the margins get very thin, those little silly team moments where they overcommit here sure. or they do a dumb thing here or they try too hard here to like do something crazy, they add up. And over a seven game series, I think it's going to kill him, especially with a player like Archie, who's such a st- kind of stable defender on the other end. Stable defender, but you're not going to say that Archibald is going to beat Jan in the quarterfinals of the London Major. I don't, I just don't. Well, he has two other I mean, teammates who are demons, does. who are absolutely He's also demons. been, they he's are. also been uh, phenomenal this split. I mean, it, it, I think he, you, you can make an argument for him being the best player on Oxygen. All right, well, we can, we can stop. I hate when people do that, Hoodie, I'm going to be honest. They just choose the guy who no one says <laughs> is doing well because he's like getting saved. They're like, well, well you I mean, know. Look at, look, at, look at what he's done for the team. Okay, but His look what Joyo did. Is incredible. Joyo, Joyo team went from an afterthought in Europe to a true contender, knocking out KC with Joyo. Like that doesn't that doesn't mean that Archie's not been no, a he's huge been part a of team success. He's been a, he's been a monster, but like they they have a game breaker on their team, and I we respect game breakers in this household. Okay, game breakers are given their respect. And this is, I mean, it's a, it's just the same story that I said a month ago. Y'all, y'all just don't, y'all don't recognize the. Uh, Good. They don't. The, they don't the, deserve the, it. The critical impact that Archie plays. On have you, have you ever I mean, seen Joyo, the game seen breaker, Joyo on Moist? Moist? And what's he doing there? Getting top fours, getting major finals, and and, and, and missing regionals. That happens. Okay, Carmen. No, it doesn't. Not when you're a game breaker. No, well, you can break Until it in the, in the wrong way. You can, you. you can break it in the wrong way happens, too. <laughs> happens to Ato and Fatera. Yeah, exactly. Listen, I love I mean, you're, Archie. You're just, you're just very welcome, Hoodie, for setting you up with uh, being smug <laughs> later on. If, no, if it all, all I'm going to say is, is, listen, I don't know if you guys ever follow Joyo on Twitter, but those montages. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, listen, yeah, listen, he's listen, a freestyler. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> so what? As if Jan can't hit those shots. Uh, Incredible let, let me fun. see him do it first, okay? This is Sam Slander of the <laughs> highest just, caliber. Just YouTube Yan yeah, highlights. <laughs> You'll see it. Uh, anyway, right. let's move on. Yeah, let's move on to the major final. Fa- you know? I'm sick of Falcons getting these quarterfinal Dude, matchups. Can we go they back and look at their? These. Can we go back and look at their total run that we've given them? Because we might can, get uh, some. Well, yeah. Can we go back and highlight the fact that Michael did this in the very first round <laughs> of the tournament? This is LJ Diff. Come on, L. No, Jesus. Oh my God. L. LeBron. That's what I used to go. Lose they go Rio. space station. They go. They get a little. They get a little easy tough, one in the second round. Tough match here, Mobula. Gingy, G2. Yeah. And then BDS. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you have to beat the best to be the best. I mean, Gentlemates yeah, proved over it. over and over and over. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. Be- Gentlemates did do it. They beat both NA1, they, they beat yeah, NA1, one, two, EU1, two, and Mina1. So, um, <laughs> that round was insane. Yeah. Anyway, I'll, I'll start this off. Um, I'm taking Falcons. I'm taking Falcons. Oh. Uh, listen, this, is prob- this could be the major final, 100%. Yeah. Um, but for me, um, I think if you go through what they've been through, they're so battle tested. They're so used to playing at the absolute apex of the game. Um, and that can be so like valuable in these Swiss tournaments. We saw, uh, Moist, for example, in the fall major, they had to go to round five. They had to play a lot of great teams and they still, and they made it to the major final. You look at, um, you know, a lot of teams in these open qualifiers would go 3-2, uh, Gen G in the open qualifier at four. Sometimes being pushed to the brink makes the rest of the tournament a little bit easier because you've already felt that pressure early on. And uh, I think getting getting a punch in the face from SSG early is probably the best thing that could happen to them because it really forces them to lock in and realize they can't just skirt okay, through this against Amina Regional. So I'm going to take Falcons 4-3. I think this is going to be a classic. Like, this will be the best series of the tournament. Um, but yeah, give me, give me Falcons 4-3. We've seen quarterfinals be the best match yeah. in, in yeah. the tournament yeah. very recently. So, yeah, that's mine. I don't know what you guys think, but that's yeah, what, what I What are take. you thinking? I am thinking Falcons. I do want to see them in the finals. Um, oh. And I think they're just right now in the best form they've ever been. Getting uh, matched up against BDS in the quarterfinals is brutal. Yeah. But if anyone can do it, it's Falcons. So I have Falcons... like. Four two or something, yeah. Wow. Okay. I was kind of expecting the BDS call. I was sitting on the fence, but um, I'm all good with Falcons. I think that's a all right. A great pick. Lock it in. We'll go four one then, since all of us are are feeling one way. Sure. Um, 
Gentlemates and Gen G. Uh oh. Feel like we're probably can I can I can I plead my case here, everybody? Sure. My case. Okay. <laughs> so last major we saw Gen G go out, go round five Swiss squeak into the bracket against Complexity, and they took Gentlemates to to seven, and they were up three two. Yeah. I am going to bank on the idea that. <laughs> Gentlemen mates are not going to be best in the world the way they were because they haven't shown me that. Okay. Um, and I think if they perform to the same level, Gen G, I think Gen G wins this matchup. Just because I think what I saw in that matchup was um, uh, Gen G kind of f- finding a play style that really seemed to bother Gentlemen mates, which was demos and forward passes. If you look, go back and watch that series. Gentlemates were really struggling with Jack getting a demo, staying at field, and FK just bang the ball at him, and then they'd score. Yeah. So they got a lot of team plays going. Um, I think you're really relying on Itachi to be like Monkey Moon esque in the midfield, and it's a tough thing to ask a player to do consistently. So I got Genji in like a six or seven game series. Yen, you can stop now. Thank you. What is Bird Walking about? <laughs> you just, you just <laughs> love these mates, man. You love the mates. Zero regional love- wins. I love the mates. I love the mates. Love and them I, so much. I, they didn't predict him to be at the major. Yeah, dude, crazy. He's just doing. That, he's doing much, restitution so now. Like, <laughs> he's trying to get back I in just, graces. I just gave them the chance to prove me wrong, and they did. And now they're just gonna run with it, and they're gonna beat Genji four one. I mean, Dental Maids, I think, are just such a strong team in terms of yeah. what they can do in a major because they're such a strong team. We've t- talked so much about player yeah. and, and about player quality, but Dental Maids have the player quality, but they're most of all the team. The who, teamiest in team. An, yeah. The teamiest team who, in an <laughs> offline environment, yeah. should thrive. And they've shown that in Copenhagen. Of course, it's really difficult to repeat right. that success from Copenhagen to London, but it's it's if anyone can do it, it is gentlemate. So I have yeah. them beating Gen G there. But I wasn't I think, too hot on Gen G anyway. So that should yeah. not be a surprise to anyone. No, no, I agree. It's not. And, and Gen G has given us some poor performances to to make us feel that way. The the one thing that I'll say that makes me just on the fence here is that I think Gen G potentially played gentlemates the best. Out yes, of all teams that's, last that's my major. that's my reasoning is that it and, looked and like actually, they played the best. And I, if y'all go back and, and watch, <clears throat> whether it's my stream or in here, I, I Gen G should have, or at the very least, could have beaten Gentle Mates. They had a few opportunities when they were up three. What was it, three one or three two in the series? Where um, Jack, you know, they made a couple bonehead absolute, mistakes. Yeah, and they, Jack they kind made of, it whiff bad. Jack, yeah, they, really they made bad. a couple bonehead mistakes and and ended up giving a you know giving Gentle Mates the opportunity to punish. And of course, they did. They were. Uh, I mean, absolutely in, incredible, almost flawless in the first major. And I think, to your point, Yens, it's going to be difficult to replicate a nearly flawless performance. Mm-hmm. Of course. And I think we're going to throw in, uh, we're going to throw in an upset. I'm going to go Gen G here as well. I think this Come is on, one, Tiger of those, Nation. one of those, one of those matches where, uh, come on, you know, we get the thing that we <clears throat> that maybe shouldn't happen. <laughs> We don't we have need enough to take this thing away from Jens, dude. We need to take it away from him. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you sold me. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Vitality and G2. Was this well, quarterfinals last time or semifinal? Yes, yeah, uh, semifinals. semifinals. Um, I got G2. Like I said, I think G2 is a team that is a classic North American kind of like they do. They kind of do weird things, but they will get it done. I think you could look at almost every g2 atomic core run as there's a couple head scratching games or series in there um to me uh they they're just a better team than vitality as much as i like vitality as much as i think vitality could win this event uh you know i'll ride for zen i think zen is the best player in the world it's not even close but zendrick zendrick lamar himself (laughs) right um but to me g2 the it's just it's like Falcons. Like I feel like they have this confidence about them that they believe that in their ability to just outplay and out talent and out scheme everybody. They feel like they they trust their coach. 
They trust every single player. They know any guy on their team, which I think is a big thing. I think they know any player on their team could be the best player in the world on any given day. I don't know yeah. if Vitality, like, nowadays think that. Um, and I think because of that, I think I have to put my faith in a team that has shown us over and over again in terms of their consistency of results across the season, right. that they will buckle down and they can beat you in a bunch of different ways. Uh, give me G2 and 6. I like it. I mean, I, despite disastrous, the disastrous bracket we've had so far, because matchups are going to match up, um, we still have a chance at Falcons and G2 in the finals, and I, I, I love that. So give me G2. Vitality, they're a good contender, but G2 is just, at the moment, more in peak form, it seems like. Yeah, and yeah. that's what you need to to do well in the, in these kind of quarterfinals because they're going to be so tough. Yeah, maybe yeah. maybe the, the the most difficult <clears throat> games of the entire tournament. Like you have an entire day, Saturday, where you just have to play one game, right, one yeah. match, and that's the quarterfinal. I Everything comes out. You... Everyone is completely yeah. prepared for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of these teams have had a day off, right, to yeah. to really focus on on, uh, on what's going on. And to show up there is the ultimate ultimate sign of strength. And I think G2 is one of those really strong teams right now. I think um, with G2, right, uh, it's a tough matchup for Vitality because I don't think you can name anyone across any region that has sort of replicated the level of Zen across the whole season the way that Beast Mode has for G2, where, you know, you're all he's almost always in the conversation for the best player in the region on any given event. You know, sure, Zen wasn't the best player in the region for every event in Europe, but he's always in that conversation. He's always like top two, top three. And so I think, you know, running up against the only player in the tournament who can kind of hold a candle to him at this point, uh, this early is, is pretty tough for them because their strength has always been to, um, there's so much attention on making sure Zen doesn't 1v3 you that the other players are allowed to be stars in their own right. But when you match up against three players who have no fear because they know they have players on their team that can do what Zen could do in Daniel Beast mode, it's just, it's tough. And I think Sathieu is, is so, so good at preparing. And maybe the best preparation-wise coach for play style in the world um, that he'll have something ready for them. I think they're mm. a really, really strong team in a, in a one, one, in a sort of like one match a day format. I don't think yeah. there's a team you want to see besides G2. You're gonna, they're going to be really good in the shift summer league, which by the way, Jens, when does that start, by the way? Uh, that starts mid-July. Yeah, so you guys got to watch out for that. Mid-July. Where, but well, a team uh, like where G2. Can you, where can you see more info about that? You can find more info about that on shiftrly.gg slash articles for the information and slash SSL for the rulebook. And Thank I know you. you can definitely get plenty of information about it if you're on Twitter by following the Shift RLE account. Absolutely. Be, we'll uh, be keeping you up to date right yep. now. We're just working on making everything happen behind the scenes, right? Organizing every, everyone needs to be involved, needs to be, you know, getting the right tools and everything yeah. like that. And of course, teams are focused on the major as well, at least the teams who are going to be there. So uh, at least G2, uh, if they want to play, they, they're just going to have to accept the invitation. They don't have to go through any qualifiers. So uh, and, and G2, Matthew, the coach, already replied on Twitter when asked, are they going to play? More than likely. So you'll most likely get to see some G2 action. There you action go. In for the for me with this matchup, Nothing. I think it's... And this is probably oversimplifying things, but G2's floor has just been so high throughout the season. Yeah, totally. And I think at, at land, that becomes like a... Obviously, if you have teams that elevate that ceiling, like general mates we saw last time, that is the ideal way to go about it. But I don't think you can always count on that. At lands, we see sometimes things get a little bit messy. Some players don't always bring their A game. And so G2 having that higher floor, I think that that uh, that bodes well here for them. Yep. All right, so we've got our top four. One European team, and it's the four seed. Oh, this would be a, such a fun bracket, this especially fun. in London, because it would be the English team. The English team is the last yeah. the last one standing. You know, the whole crowd would be going crazy for them. I didn't even realize yeah. that. We, we made a quarterfinals where in every quarterfinal match, we have one of the European teams. Yeah, it was, it was like last, so they, uh, last major, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like last one. So we yeah. could just have a full European semifinals, but <laughs> yeah. nope, it's only Oxygen. Yeah, well, I mean, I think with how close the teams are at the top now, you're going to see this a lot just because there's a lot of European teams where it's like yeah. you are, you'll are you be like a bounce or two away or like a goal or two away from like all EU or like all one four. EU in the in yeah. the semifinals. So <laughs> yeah, cool. it's very close. 
And um, of that's course, fun. this is exciting because similar to what I was saying earlier about Chiefs, you got to put it to round four. Can they do it? Now, Oxygen is on their qualifying match. If they were to win the semifinal and move into the grand finals, they would hop K Corp for that fourth seed for the world championship, which obviously adds an unfathomable amount of pressure on this series specifically. I think, to be honest with you guys, I think the rest of this tournament, like, of course, there's pressure, but I don't think they're going to feel it. And if Intel, they are to make it to the yeah. semifinals, it is just going to hit them like a yeah. bag of bricks. It is going to be so yeah. heavy, so difficult to perform. And it's going to be a tough test, especially against a team, uh, well, whoever's in the semifinals, you know, yeah. at this stage in the tournament, it's going to be tough. So I think if you, if you face any of the teams and it's uh, any of the team in this top eight, while Falcons is probably the strongest of the teams on their side of the bracket in this, oh, I guess BDS is right there. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really matter because they're good enough that if you're, if you're nervy, yeah. they'll just run, run, right. run, run over you. That's right. But I'm going right, to well, unfortunately I'll take Falcons. I'm sorry, Hoodie. Yeah. That's okay. Um, I think, you know, if you beat G2 and BDS in, in a tournament format like this, you're so battle tested that yeah. with the added pressure from oxygen, I can in good faith, even though I'd love to see it happen. I can yeah. in good faith. It, Mr. Fairness himself, uh, cannot be taking, uh, oxygen here. I would say this is probably yeah. like a, a four, two where it feels like maybe it's two, two. And then the pressure really starts to set in and they start making silly sort of, um, silly sort of plays trying to like force the issue and Falcons will destroy you if they do that. So yeah, yeah. give me, give me Falcons for two. Jens? You're so very, very welcome, Hoodie. I will not jinx Oxygen. I will give you all the chance to be smug if they make it. <laughs> give me Falcons to go to the grand finals. Um, I just think that Falcons should not yeah. struggle too much against a team with so much pressure, against a fourth seed out of Europe right. that is not really one of those really strong contenders for the win outside, out, uh, out of Europe. It's a, it's a fun matchup. It's the two green teams against each other. I, yeah. I don't know who is going to get the blue and the orange you got, side you on that Joy one. Joy versus TRK again in London. Yeah, that too. It's it's an amazing matchup. It's yeah. so much fun to watch. Mm -hmm. um, if this would come to happen, I mean, they first have to make the playoffs. That's right. But uh, yeah, it, it, it's it's Falcons for me. Yeah, I mean, I think if you've got a run like Falcons had, having to beat Gen G, uh, G two, and G two, and, and BDS. BDS, like you said, like I, without just wearing bias on my face how you know how could you how could you make that prediction for oxygen so i'm gonna go with falcons as well we'll make it a 4-1 since all three of us went one way now for my oxygen fans that may be thinking what the heck hootie look <laughs> anytime that there is a full caster prediction for one team there's always the chance <laughs> that's a curse. or there's always He's the chance a for a jeans, okay game. so that's that that's the <laughs> angle here all right that's the angle we got falcons in the grand finals which also uh, on a serious note, does make me really excited. Y'all know I've been yeah. a, a fan of the Falcons team. And and I just, I do, I really do want to see a non-EUNA team win one of these international events. I think it's going to be so healthy for the eSport. It's going to inspire so many players in that region to, you know, continue to grind and work hard. They see their their peers accomplish something so monumental. You know, I, I think, and, and if, of course, just fun, fun storylines for fans. And if well. it's one event, it has to be London because yeah. Falcons was the team they in the there. grand finals in That's London right. last time. So it's going to be amazing. <clears throat> Okay, this, we got the NA showdown on the, the bottom NA, half. Here. The NA G regional G championship. G2. Making it at least an, a, a, a <coughs> one, North American team yeah. in That's the right. finals. So no and, EU team I mean, for G2 the first time. G2 has potential to go back to back grand finals yeah. and all grand finals throughout the full season, which would be a phenomenal, a phenomenal feat throughout an entire RLCS season. It would be. So, and it will be. Oh, here's, here's, here's my issue, right? This, this major, the way we predicted it, has been the major of exercising uh, uh, demons, I would say. You see right. Joyo exercising his demons against Furia. You see TRK exercising his demons against Joyo. And so I'm leaning to say that G2 will also be exercising their demons against Tiger Nation because they do call me in a Mr. Fairness. And G2 <laughs> have looked better than Gen G all split besides the first regional. Um, and also, I'm a little bit going to be a little bit of a, a regional bias thing. I think that I want to see NA win a major. We haven't won a major with a full NA team in a very long time, or a majority right. NA team right. even. Um, and I and I think, well, I think Gen G can beat G2. I would give G2 a far better chance of beating Falcons than Gen G. You know, 
I think yeah. that the way that G2 plays is a lot, and their and their individual ability and their consistency bodes a lot better to beating a team like Falcons, where Gen G can beat G2 because Gen G just keeps beating G2 and they just know how to do it, right? Where it's more of a matchup dependent thing than like a skill thing. Um, so you know, as much as I love my boys, as much as I've written up for them all season, I would be being silly and, and goofy if I did not take G2 to make their eighth straight grand finals this season. Incredible. Well, again, we're all on board with it. We'll make it a we'll make it a four one as well, since yeah. we're all leaning one direction. <clears throat> all right, grand finals, Falcons in London. Man, back what in a the grand what, finals. what a grand final this would be! Huh? Can we just say this is the perfect grand finals for yeah. London? Yeah, yeah. And you know I what? Mean, a lot of there's players. There's absolutely no EU bias here. Yeah. I, this would just there be an incredible. Be right. There's fund. no EU team. <laughs> yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. I was gonna say, I feel like what I love the most about this is this is a besides Atomic. This is a grand final where every single player, it feels like they're a player that if they don't win a LAN in their careers, it would be an absolute tragedy. Like we don't, sure. I don't want to see Beast Mode or TRK or Daniel or the Twins retire without winning a LAN. Right. And so that one, so the fact that one of these teams comes out as LAN champions and really like solidifying themselves as like, you know, like Pantheon players of their generation, it's very cool. Like I, I listen, yeah. I love seeing team players build goat resumes but i've seen monkey Moon win i've seen itachi win i've seen zen win right like I, I don't need to see these players win again i would love to see some of these players who are kind of held out of all-time great talks because they haven't done it yeah, at the highest level yeah. really enter because like beast mode well atomic could be in the conversation for legitimately na's greatest ever player if he wins this he'll be the only north american player ever to win two rlcs wins which is a massive thing right and then beast mode you look at his resume he's got a, a major final. He's got a, a top three in a, in a other massive event outside the RLCS. He's won and was the sort of driving force because he played all three events. And now he's got a major title. Now we're talking, what is he top 10, top five all time? Uh, and then TR, I mean, the Falcons, we've already spoken about how monumental it would be for their win. So it's just like a beautiful kind of culmination of, of these teams that were built to do this. Super teams built to dominate at the highest level and beat these European teams. All right, hold on. I've got some bias. Michael's got some bias. Jens, before we before we start to uh, you know throw what we got, tell us what you think about this grand finals. I mean, I think it's an interesting grand finals from the perspective of Falcons, because you have them back in London in, in the cover box in the grand right. finals, and they're better than they've ever been. The two teams, as far as I can see, have only matched up once before, which was at the fall major in Rotterdam last season. Yeah which was in the Swiss stage in round four, and neither team didn't even make it to the playoffs. Yeah. Well, then also, the, a... Sandrock, they, I guess there's no T... It was TRK wasn't there, so it doesn't really count. And, and it was JNAPS on G2, yeah. so it was yeah. just completely different stories. Yeah. But it was a sweep for, for G2. That was a different Falcons too, though. Not just because of the players, but because of the strength out That's of right. Mina. Yep. It's special what they've been able to build. Of course, they are closer to EU that they can gain some experience and grow with Europe as a region, whereas some other smaller regions, right, can't do that as much because of ping issues, because of players not really mixing, teams not really competing against each other, um, and because of the internal competition there is. But Mina have really stepped up. I want to see them take that redemption. I want to see them win for the storylines, but I really believe that they have the best chance they've ever had yeah. to make it. And I hope it's going to be a banger. I don't see it being a sweep or anything close to it. Right. This should be a close game because G2 is also, like you said, they're, they're just making grand finals left and right. They're also an incredibly strong team out of North America. But I would give it to the Falcons. All right. Well, I mean, I think I've already lost here from what I can tell. But <laughs> my, my case for G2 would be that... Um, <laughs> The, this they've been here how many times you know yeah. and um i think i'm gonna bring it back na has always been very good against mina stylistically i don't know why i'd have to go look but it seems like they've always been able to do a really good job against mina teams now this is a different piece of a mina team I'm, I've, I've i've given falcons a lot of flowers but um to me it feels like they've been here before they like the region wise it is and you know it, i don't i'm gonna say it they lost to them in the Swiss stage, and to me, that kind of matters. Because uh, when you lose, I think teams have a bad case of when they win series, they just are like, yeah, we won. We can just do that. When, when you lose, you really go and you look at, okay, how why did we lose? 
And I think with a coach like Sath, who has proven over the years that he is a you know one of the best coaches ever, right? And has built so many different programs with G2 that that have allowed them to be successful. Um, I feel like they that loss will actually end up helping them in this series. They're going to be able to go back and see exactly what happened um, and exactly how they can switch things up. And I think when you are uh, able to field three players as gifted as these players who can do anything on the pitch, it makes making those adjustments very easy because they can switch into a different mode when they need to. I think this is going to be a war. I think this is going to be one of the all-time greatest RLCS finals and mm. one that we're going to remember forever um, and, and maybe be the highlight of this entire season. Um, but I would have G2 and seven. Um, and I know who you're going to say Falcons, but I would like to stake my well, claim now. Let's make it fun. Uh-oh. Ooh, it it really is a coin. coin flip. Heads, Falcons on the top. G2 is tails. Here we go. Take it. The coin flip. All right. M Mina, Falcons, Mina, Mina we'll win. put it in seven. I think you guys are right. I mean, <clears throat> this really could obviously go both ways. Um, G2's floor, I, you know, I mentioned it earlier. Unfortunately, G2 does have a history of struggling at the finish line right there. They've, you know, they've gotten to so many grand finals of huge tournaments and have only won a, you know, a, a, a pair of them here and there in RLCS. Falcons, um, I mean, actually kind of a similar story, right? They had, they, they came through the upper side in London and ended up dropping two best of seven series to, to Moist. And so you... You know, you mentioned it earlier, Michael, the, the exercising of demons. Um, I think that would be the case for both of these teams. You also talked about how it would be so awesome to see some of these guys get their first RLCS International Land win. Um, you know, I think, I guess to be kind of cheesy here, I feel like it, the outcome doesn't matter for me. I think either of these would be, uh, you know, a, a fun outcome. Yeah, because I think either... Oxygen didn't make it to the ground. Well, I mean, yeah, but <laughs> I told you my angle there. I'm, I'm hoping for a jinx. We'll see if we can squeak one in. I look, I mean, on oxygen, we, we know there's a long shot there, but I'm just happy that we're we have something to fight for. You know what I mean? We get to go to a major. There's a lot of teams that didn't get to do that that are also. And there you go. Our bracket's so. decided by a coin flip. I love that from you, Hoodie. That's the most fence sitting move <laughs> of a fence sitter ever. Is it not perfect? <laughs> it I'm is. It's great. If nothing else. I'm and listen, this is all setting else. up for G2 World Championship, right? Yep. Like G2 World Championship win. And, and I'm, also I'm, I'll take look that back at our bracket now and see Falcons lost in round one against Space Station, quite yeah. a lesser team to compare to G2. Yeah, <laughs> but well, here hey, they're winning in the grand well, finals. In, in Michael's defense, he did say if it's going to happen, it's going to be a flood. Round in, one, in Tom round. Foolery a, is so of real. Five. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You come yeah. out, you're not ready to play. Your hands are cold. You, your setup's weird. You're down too well. It's one it's thing like that I wanted to say about happens. Falcons that they, they've got this unique ad, um, advantage where they've got land so much more frequently yeah. than many of the other teams, right? Those Saudi yep. lands, they get to play they there. Just play so they're one. kind of comfortable with that traveling, playing on a new setup in London. It's not a crazy time zone difference, right? Um, so, I mean, they, they've got a lot of things going for them here. They're obviously, we've, we've talked about it over and over. They're one of the strongest, if not the strongest MENA team that we've ever seen. Um, we'll see. I mean, we've got an unbelievably talented BDS team who is firing on all cylinders, winning any and all tournaments that are happening. We've got a G2 team who hasn't placed... Uh, lower than second. We've got Gentlemates who flew through the last major and, uh, you know, I got the ability to do so again. We've got a Furia team who I think, I think we expect more from. We saw the, you know, we they saw the, the peaks that they, they, they have, right? Yeah. The Swiss stage was phenomenal. We expected more from them. Um, vitality can always be Vitality when you got Zendrick capable of, of, of winning anything. We've got the fun auction storyline as well. And Gen G, I think, would, would be a fun one because uh, recently people have begun to doubt them with some of these weaker performances. So, a, a lot of fun stuff could unfold for any of these teams throughout. And, and we've also talked about some of these other qualification situations with Secret. Um, if they make it to round five, then they qualify for the Yeah, Sam we actually team. have a tiebreaker triggering. So we, we get right. a little complexity Secret tiebreak. So, and I don't actually know when that will be played. Yeah, I you think it's like I right, saw, before, right before Worlds. I saw there was someone okay, reading okay. the... Um, someone was reading the... Uh, rule book and apparently in the rule book it shows like after that tournament is over yeah just like you would do in a regional so like you would just, but it, but i don't think they can no it's like it's like, it's it's like it, i saw something that said it was july 29th but i could have been completely wrong like i don't that know that makes I more sense okay. but they I, yeah, I, I, it, don't, it please don't trust me on that right well i, I mean yeah <laughs> imagine they force complexity to play on your eu service imagine 
they fly them out. Imagine. They fly them out and they for just, a land. They just put they just put secret on stage in London right after the finals. <laughs> it's it's half past eleven at night in Europe. Yeah. The, the the security crew wants to clear the whole area. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> they're they're like, just, we got one more for you. <laughs> who wants to gone, see? Who long. wants to see Sam? You just saw G two and Falcons play an absolute classic. Who wants to watch? Sam two and three, and everyone's like, it's like when they had that freestyle I mean, event in the middle of the day. Yeah, I think we'd be up for it. Security would not be. Yeah. Okay. So, what do you guys just just general thoughts? What do you think about this bracket? Do you think this is fairly accurate? You think it's decent? We we put something okay together here? Well, it's definitely not fairly accurate. There's like a one percent chance to have this. I happens. think I don't mean I, I don't mean all of them. I, just, I think I like, we picked the grand final. Are, are we satisfied with our top eight here? Yes. I'm happy with the grand finals. I'm happy with. The top eight's pretty. Am I happy normal. with the semifinals? No, you're a hater. You're a Tiger Nation I am hater. A hater. Yeah. You're a Tiger Nation <laughs> hater. But I think we got a good top eight. We got we're a little wacky. I think we got a good there. top eight. The only fear though is, like, there, there's. It's very possible for a slip somewhere. Yeah, totally. Like, this is the expected oh, yeah. top eight, right? And yeah. and it doesn't always doesn't always work out that way. Yeah, totally. All right, I'm, get... I'm I'm satisfied. I think this is awesome. I think a Falcons G two finals would be great. Um. You know, like I just said before, Oxygen having the opportunity to play for a berth is, is like, you can't ask for anything more than that. Mm -hmm. um, the fact that they're at the major is exciting. We've got all kinds of fun storylines we just outlined. We've got tiebreakers on the line. We've got world's berths on the line. There's so much happening here. You're, you're not going to want to miss it. It's going to be so much fun. If you're in London and you spot Yins and you spot me, be sure to say hello. We'll be there. Yep, Michael's sure. going to hold it down in NA and continue to cheer on his, his squad. And that's going to be the final episode before the London Major. Yeah. Not sure what we'll be doing uh, during the Major. We'll just have to see it day by day because everyone's yeah. going to be traveling. Everyone's going to be busy. Everyone's going to be at different locations at different times. Of course, we might meet up uh, at the pub afterwards, but we're not going to record <laughs> any shift cast there. So we'll, <laughs> we'll just see. Uh, that might be really good, actually. It might be. But a little shift that, cast yeah. after dark. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> It's going to be tricky because I know it's going to be so busy. Uh, everyone knows about how good London Major in the Copper Box is now. Uh, everyone's aware after two editions. We've got the third now. It's it's great to see everyone back as well. Last time I was there, that was two years ago, I wasn't actually working as press. I was just there to enjoy uh, the event. And the matches were fun, but I was mainly there to meet all my friends and all the people that are active in the Rocket League esports community. And, and it's just great fun. So regardless of the games. All right. That's going to do it for our bonus episode 20.5. We'll get back on track once everybody's home, like Yen said, and we're all settled back in. We'll have plenty to talk about. Worlds on the horizon in September. Uh, all kinds Summer of off-season events. That's right. Shift Summer League coming up. Um, so y'all be sure to stay tuned to the channel. Follow that. Uh, follow the Shift RLE Twitter account. Y'all drop your predictions below. Give us your top four. Let us know your thoughts on our bracket here. Um, tell us who you think is going to maybe underperform, overperform. Let us know your opinions down below. We appreciate you all watching. Hope you enjoy the major, and we'll catch you next time.